Hello everyone. I welcome you all to my next video session wherein we will discuss another command or package that is being provided by A2019 Automation Anywhere that is the JavaScript package. So before we start our discussion for today, I request every one of you to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification icon so that you receive all the latest updates and notifications that we keep posting on our YouTube channel. So without any further delay, let us start our discussion for today. So with that, let us start our discussion for today. So Automation Anywhere provides another useful command that is the JavaScript package or the JavaScript action and the various actions that are available under the JavaScript package which are used to run and execute the JavaScript that we write. So now let us see the various actions that are provided under the JavaScript package. So first of all, dra drag and drop the open action from the JavaScript package and give the session name to your JavaScript. So I am giving as javascript underscore session. So copy this session name and now under the javascript property we have the two options. One is the import existing file and the second one is the manual input. So we will use the manual input first to see how we can use or write the inline javascript in A2019 automation anywhere. So over here we will define a function called as addition and over here we will use the parameters as value 1 and value 2 and then give the curly bracket and over here use the return statement or you can use where result is it else to value 1 plus value 2 and then give the semicolon and then in the last use the return statement to return the value or the result and then give, close the curly bracket and then click on save So now we will create a list variable. In that list variable we will give two values. We will give two values as an input. So pass give the name to your list variable that is v list underscore where and here the subtype should be number. So create a list variable with default values. So I am giving as yes, 22 and 25. So these are my two list variables with default values. So now coming back to the actions uh, panel. Over here use the message bots command. And over here drag and drop the message box and store the output so for, for the time being I am using the prompt assignment then click on yes insert after selecting the variable and then click on save so now we will run the bot so when we click on run the bot the bot will be deployed on the system you are running the bot or the machine on which you are running the bot in the bot we have to make one change so we have to make use of the run javascript action that is being provided by the javascript package so over here in the run javascript action pass in the same session name that we used in the open action of the javascript that is javascript underscore session and over here in the enter name of function to be executed pass in the function name that is addition and then give the parameters 
so we have created a list variable so we will give the parameter of list variable data type and then in the output we will assign the output to a prompt assignment variable which is the system variable created already and then click on save so now we will run the bot again we can see the output that we have got is 47 because the values passed are 22 and 25 so this is how we can make use of javascript package that is being available so over here there is one thing to note that if we do not make use of this run javascript action or pet or command so the open action will be executed but the output will be displayed as nothing so i will show you that scenario as well so if we disable this action and run the bot again so the output that we will get will be blank so as you can see the, the output in the output or the message box we have got nothing but the open action that we gave the function that we gave in the open action of the javascript has been executed but there is no command or action to execute that function that we have given in the open action so that's why we need to enable this run javascript action to get the desired output so with that we have come to the end of our video discussion where we discussed how to use javascript package and the various actions that are provided under the javascript package if you have any queries regarding this video or content you can raise your queries in the comment section and i will be more than happy to answer all of your queries last but not the least i would like to conclude by saying that please subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the notification icon so that you receive all the latest updates and notifications that we keep posting on our youtube channel till then have a great day